Welcome to the Edible Classroom. What forgot in here? Have a look. Have a have a good a good look. See what you can think they are. Here you go, guys. Pass them down. What do you think they are? What do they look like? Seeds. They look like seeds. I yeah, think they're lentils. Like you think they're lentils? Any other ideas what they are? Dried Any peas. Ones? Dried peas? That's exactly what they are. They're peas that are dried out. I'm going to ask you a quick question. What is it that's got to happen to these peas before they can actually become pea plants? What do they need? What would that need to make it become a pea plant? Any Sorry. ideas? It would need sunlight, wouldn't it? But um, it's got sunlight now and it's not become a pea plant yet. Well, there's something more than sunlight, isn't there? There's water. Something more. Water is a big thing, isn't it? So we're going to do some ideas about pea seeds, water and the weight of them. And the first thing that we need to do is to find out how heavy one of those, just one of those, is. Anybody got any ideas? How heavy do you think that one of those? Go on, put it in your hand. Let me see if you can work out how heavy it is. Probably about half a gram. Half a gram? What do you think down there, guys? Mm -hmm. Um, 10 grams. Here. 10 oh, grams? I mean, uh, 0 0.10 grams. 0 0 0.1 gram. Grams. 0 0.1. What do you think? How heavy do you think it is? Uh, a gram. A gram? Mm, what do you think? Yeah, probably about a gram. Probably about a gram. Should we have a try and find out? Mm -hmm. I've got some weights in for you. Um, I've got a 10 gram weight. In fact, that's the only weight I've got. I haven't got any other weights. So, how many... Hmm. Can't wait. It. How can I find out how heavy one is? Ooh. How can I find out, yeah? And could you put some more in and see what happens? See what happens? If you put the 10 in, and if you, well, you two said that each one would be a gram, and that's a 10 gram weight. So if you put 10 in, and each one would be a gram, it would equal 10 grams. Right, so if it's going to be if it's going to be a gram each, we only need to put 10 in. Yeah? Mm. Is, that, is that right? So let's have a go. We've got one in already. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Has it balanced? No. no. It's not balanced, is it? So, balance? so it's not a gram then, is it? Is it heavier or lighter than a gram? Lighter. A lot lighter. Lighter. And you think a lot lighter. What do you think? Yeah. A lot lighter. So how many should we go for? I have hundred. Thank you. Should we try another ten then? See yeah. what we get there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Has it moved? No. No. I think we need to try some like a oh. hundred. So. Let's try a whole lot. Oh, there we go. Right, so let's make this thing balance perfectly. Let's take one of those out. Hey, do we need another one, do you think? Wait, uh, one more. One more. Try to stop it from bouncing around all of the time. That's pretty. That I think, is balanced. I think that when it stops, it will be actually balanced, won't it? That's balanced. So, how many seeds weigh 10 grams? Shall we have a look? See how many we've got. Oh, got, oh one on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49 seeds. 49 seeds. So, what does one seed weigh? Interesting. So write down 49 seeds on your paper and we'll work out what one seed weighs. So 49 seeds weigh how many grams? 10, 10, 10. grams, yeah. So how do we work out 
how many one seed would we? You divide that by ten. Do we divide forty nine by ten? So what's forty nine divided by ten? You can work that out. Forty nine divided by pardon? Four point nine. So if it's divided by ten, that means that one seed is four point nine grams, isn't it? Now we know that that can't be right, don't we? Mm. So what do we do? So we've got 49 seeds, 10 grams. How about dividing 10 by 49? It's a bit of a pain that, isn't it? It's quite a big number to do, isn't it? Quite mm. a big one. 10 divided by 49. How can I make it easier? How can I actually make it easier? What would, I've got 49 seeds here. Yeah. Round it up to 50. Excellent idea, isn't it? If I if I made it 50 seeds, then it's easier to work out, isn't it? Because I've now got this, an easy number. So if I got 50 seeds weigh 10 grams, how many does five seeds weigh? If I got 50 seeds, write it down on your paper if you're thinking. If 50 seeds weigh 10 grams, how much would five seeds weigh? What do you think? Let me show you a really easy way of working it out. Ah, 10 grams, okay? Can you, can you see that? Mm-hmm. Okay, so how many seeds are in one gram? Now, let's have a look at this. I'm dividing that by 10 to get one gram, aren't I? Yeah, so I've got to divide this by 10 as well because I've divided that side by 10 I'm going to divide this by 10 so what's 50 divided by 10? 5, five. Mm. so 5 seeds now weigh 1 gram hmm that should tell us something shouldn't it? let's think about this I started 50 seeds weighs 10 grams I divided that by 10 divided that by 10 1 gram 5 seeds weigh 1 gram now, I'll make it easy for myself again. Let's see how many seeds. What do 10 seeds weigh? Two grams. Oh, two, 10 seeds weigh two grams. Yeah? Now, I want to find out what one seed is, don't I? Mm -hmm. So I've divided that by 10. I'm going to divide oh. this by 10 as well. So what does it become? No point. No point. I was about to say that. No point. Two. Yes. No point two. So one seed is no point two grams. Now on your piece of paper, I want you to work out a pea plant. I'm going to put this plant in the, in some compost and grow it. Write this bit down first. A pea plant has ten pods on it. So a pea plant has 10 pea pods on it and inside each pea pod there are six seeds. Okay, so the first thing we want to work out is how many seeds on the pea plant altogether. A pea plant has 10 pea pods on it and in each pod there are six seeds. So how many seeds have we got all together? Just write it down on your paper. How many seeds have we got all together on your pea plant? How many do we think? Six seeds. 60 seeds. So we put one seed in the ground and you actually get back oh, that many seeds, just from one seed. Isn't that amazing? Mm. So what I want to know is, where does all the matter where does all the stuff come to turn that into 60 more seeds? You mentioned some of it at the beginning. You write it down on your piece of paper while we get these out. And one for you, bud. What are we getting on? We've got 60 more seeds. 60 of those. Where does it come from? Where does all the stuff come to make 60 of those? We only had we only had a little bit of compost in there and we'll put one bit of a seed in it. So where does it come from to make 60 more of them? So let's have some ideas. 
Water. Water's warm. That's what we're going to do in a second. Another one? Warm. Air. Air, fantastic. It's true, isn't it? Does air weigh much? It weighs something, though, doesn't it? It must weigh something. So somehow this gets air in it and water in it enough to make 60 more of them. It's quite a lot, isn't it? Mm. So what we're going to do is we're going to, and you're going to do this, we're going to set up an experiment and then next time we come we'll have a look at finding out the results. We want to find out how much water we can get into one of these. Okay. Now we already know that one seed weighs how many grams was it? How many grams? Yeah? Two one seed two. weighs not point, 0 point two what? Sausages? <laughs> grams, thank you. One seed weighs 0 0.2 grams. Now just before we go any further, let's have a look because there's a special word we need to do this and I'll put it on a piece of paper so you can see it better. There's a special word we need. Look at that one and that one. Do both of those seeds weigh 0 0.2 grams? No. No, what do you think? Mm. They could and they could. There's a, there's a big one, isn't there? There's a little one. So that one's probably a bit bigger than 0 0.2 grams. That might be 0 0.3 grams. Just a fraction. And that might be 0 0.15 grams. So there's a word. We put all of those seeds in there. We weighed them and we worked out that we got 0 0.2 grams per seed. But they're not all the same, are they? So what is it about that 0 0.2 seed, 2 grams per seed? What is it? It's an, it begins with an R. It's an it's an average, average, isn't it? Yeah, it's an average weight, isn't it? Because they're not all going to be the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out how much water we can get into these. So anybody got any ideas of how we can do it? Mm. Um, you could maybe get like a like a syringe or whatever. Mm. If you and try and feed water through. What? That. Squeeze it into the seed. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I suppose you could try that, but do you know what I think would happen? Like you'd make a mess, wouldn't you? Mm. Really, I think you'd make a mess. There's an easier way, isn't it? Because the seeds do it naturally. If I put that in the ground, actually you can't see it, but if you look in the little dint, and you got a microscope and looked in the little dint, you'll find a little hole, and that's where the water goes in. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put 10 seeds in each of these, Okay, but we'll cover them with water and we're going to leave it for a week to find out how much of that water goes into the seeds. How will we find out how much water has gone into the seed? How do how will we find out? Yeah? Well, could you um, put a certain amount of water into the cup? You could. You could put a certain amount of water into the cup. There's an easier way than that. Yeah. If I just put some water in there with some seeds in, and I don't even care how much water's there. I leave it for a few days for the water to soak into the seeds. And then I pour all the water away, leaving just the seeds. I can weigh them again, can't I? Mm. And then, because I know at the moment, at the moment, on average, they weigh 0 0.2 grams, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So on average, at the moment, they weigh 0 0.2 grams. So if we weigh them again in a few days' time, we'll find out how heavier they are. Yeah. So that's what we want to do. What you need is, you get yourself your bucket, your po bucket, it's a big bucket, isn't it? <laughs> ten seeds in each one, and then when you've got your ten seeds in, we can start to put some water in there. It's got your name on it, hasn't it? This is an exercise um, showing some of the children how, first of all, seeds expand, how they take in water, but it's also an excellent way of getting some mathematics um, into growing vegetables. And um, math lessons are never really fun, but um, this one isn't so bad.